Well, it's time to meet the fighters then. Let's start with Tyson Fury, a man who completely understands and loves the show side of this business. He's featured in magazines and newspapers. He's been doing the rounds of television and radio chat shows. He even turned up for a public workout in true traveler's style, but he knows the real headlines come in the ring. Adam Dark went to find the real Tyson Fury. Old habits die hard. At the core of the man is a traveler's background and mentality. So when Tyson Fury needs to find something from within, he goes back to what he knows. Well, me, me father was born in Galway, Ireland, and he comes off a long line of um, Irish travellers. And my mother, well, she was born in Manchester, and her mother is also from um, Belfast, Nuts Corner. So I've got a bit of an Irish job going on there, a bit of an Irish traveller mix, Irish community. I was born seven weeks premature, and I weighed one pound in weight. And uh, I died three times as well, when I was, like, newborn, and they brought me back to life in an incubator. And um, then my dad ended up calling me Tyson because he's here, I was Mike Tyson. And um, turned out to be that I grew up to be six foot nine, 18, 19 stone. I can guarantee you wouldn't have been in a gym like this before. The environment defines the individual. If there's something of the showman about him, then it's purely cosmetic. Do you want me to talk to you while I'm. Because that sometimes is a good shoot, isn't it? His family background in bare-knuckle boxing provides him with an old-fashioned approach to conflict. You've got two men who's like very honourable men and they, they stand there and they fight until one can't fight anymore and then that'll be it, then they'll shake hands and then go down to the pub and have a pint. So I'll get in the ring. The name I alone answer. makes him a good boxing story. Like a Trojan. And Fury understands mm. the importance of PR. I love talking. Talking's my favourite hobby. <laughs> to anybody and any, anyone about anything. And if it's boxing, you can kiss goodbye to a couple of weeks, because I could talk a glass eye to sleep about boxing. <laughs> yet he's a man of many contrasts. Bred to fight, yet a persuasion to pacify. A devout Catholic who leaves his career in the hands of a greater force. Why only call to God when in need? Why not be friends with him beforehand? That faith was questioned during a traumatic time earlier this year when his father and trainer John, a former boxer, received an 11-year prison sentence. An overcast weekday on Morecambe Bay merely reinforced that sense of solitude. If they could say to me, Dad, right, you can get out tomorrow and your sentence is finished, or Tyson loses and finish your sentence, he'd say, no, let Tyson win and I'll finish my sentence. So that's how much it means. His life story already has so many twists and turns, but the sense of ambition remains, and he's determined to enjoy every minute. I love to work hard, but I also love to play hard as well. So after this fight, it's going to be a massive party. Everyone's invited. This is a boxer, Al, who's putting yeah. so much pressure on himself. He says, yeah. if I can't beat Chisora, I'm going nowhere. I'm a nobody. What's he doing all that for? You know, it may be premature for a 23-year-old to be talking about retirement, and I'm, I don't think we can really believe that. You know, this lead-up to this fight has been kind of a coming-out party for Tyson Fury, not just to the entire British uh, sporting population, but to the world as well. And like all parties, it's had its good and not-so-good moments. Uh, he's been charming on occasions. He's been interesting, but also he's been chastised for going Going a little over the top in his comments on Derek Chisora. Hey, he's a 22-year-old who is still learning as we go. Well, let's see how his party ends.